guys welcome to my channel in today's video we got a tesla model y 2021 we're gonna take a look under the front of this vehicle front is another word for a truck but it's still in the front of the vehicle but there's a whole bunch of components underneath here there's no engine here you got a little truck here but underneath that behind that there's a whole bunch of stuff so let's take a look at that first of all uh this is your front bay here so you would open it with your accessory app anyways we're gonna lift this cover up. We got a whole bunch of clips. It will just pop, 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 pop. And uh, this whole thing will just come off. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of clips on this. We'll just lay that baby down. So all the water will travel from there, from the top, and it would just go down and go, go down the drain here. But so you wanna be careful where the water goes. You wanna check down here often. What's underneath here? We're gonna talk about a whole bunch of things. Fire safety stuff. This orange little thing right here, you're gonna see this little thing. It's gonna be like a, like a scissor. The fire department would come, bam, cut that off. That will cut the whole system off. And anyways, you got a washer fluid box right here where you can put the washer fluid from the hole, from the top. There's a hole there for that. Anyways, we're gonna look at the whole system here compared to a regular car and this car. So let's give me, let me get some 10 millimeters. We're gonna remove one, two, three, four bolts. Here goes nothing. 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. And there should be another one here. And there should be another one here. Make sure they come off complete. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this off, take this off. Okay, the front is ready to come out, but be careful. There is a little light here, so you do need to. That's also, I didn't know that was a button. Okay, there you go. Emergency button if you get locked down here. Anyways, this baby will come off. And we do need to disconnect the little guy right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to have to fish the connector on this. See how it works. So once I get that off, we will continue. I'm not sure how this baby's gonna come off. Maybe I'll push this whole switch button forward and get that off. So pretty much this little gray guy right here, you have to squeeze this and that is your little connector there. Or there's somebody already working here. So this is the little guy right here. We have to push that little guy in and this should come off. So Tesla worked on this already. Cause this thing is freaking broken but i'm gonna need some kind of okay it's coming out it's coming out i don't want to yank on the cable I wanna grab it. there you go so tesla was in here already on this baby and uh, i'm gonna have to manage to get this guy off with one hand it's kind of heavy let's see if i can get it from this end there you go i'm gonna put this baby on the floor there you go you got all kinds of stuff down here. So you do have electric motor down here for uh, power steering. That's your rack right there. All that is your steering rack. And this is the, uh, has a little module built on top of it. So you, there's your rack and pinion there. Anyways, that's what that is. And you can see your electric motor right there. <laughs> that's your big fat electric motor housing right there. The gearbox and everything. And uh, that's not the motor, but I'm, so, I'm saying, that is part of it and you can see the cv axles right there so anyways let's talk about a little bit more of uh, components here so you do have a little battery here that you can service yourself or take it to tesla you do need to disconnect a couple of connectors so you know how to do it so this battery if you change this battery you would take off the clamp here and then it's negative and positive don't let it touch you do need to disconnect i think this cable that goes somewhere ah, okay you got a computer back there and then you got a you got AC and AC heat system right here. So right here, if you take a look at the heart of the AC and heat system right here, this is uh this is like the compressor. It has this uh, housing built on it for protection, noise of reducing a uh, little cushion jacket. So when you hear that noise inside, brrr, this is what's going on, and it just wobbles there, so you don't feel any uh thing there. But anyways, uh, what? Well, let's go move on. That's your AC system. You got some heat exchangers here. So all the system works together. Uh, you do have a cooling system back there. Right here's your reservoir right here. So right now we're kind of at a low. We're up to right there. That's just not so bad. Anyways, to put cooling in, from right there from that cap, you might get a signal. Uh, it has a sensor here. Once it's too low, 
But if you remove this little guy, you should be able to uh, look more down here and all the cooling pipe. I will always check my cooling pipes here. Sometimes they can leak from the from the anywhere. And these are not too strong. They're like regular freaking strap ties. Uh, the wiring cover looking pipes here. So you don't want to mess with them. They will get brittle all the time. So I don't know why Tesla would do that. So, okay, so Superman, I don't know what that is. I don't want to touch nothing crazy. Let's talk a little about your brake, okay, your brake system. You do have an electric brake booster there, so it's not like a vacuum uh, control. It has like a little motor as you press. It knows how much to, it will engage in there and hold your brake there for you, and it will just engage. You got a master cylinder. You got brake fluid in here. So we got fluid in here. We got obviously free on it. has oil in it. Uh, we got antifreeze. We got brake fluid here. And you got an ABS pump right here. You see this right? ABS pump right there. So it's like not nothing different, crazy more than a regular car. And you do have a radiator down here, right down here. And this is where it takes the air in from right here. So you do need to clean that over time. As you can see right there, there's build up. So if you see antifreeze leaking right in this area, it could be your pipes, it could be anything. But this is everything under the front here. So nothing for you to touch, go down here. There's no fuse boxes. They can eliminate everything from this guy. So we don't need to worry about coming over here to find the fuses. And uh, you, your main onboard computer is back there, which gets cooling from the coolant. And uh, that's it. Let's not touch anything down here. So you guys understand what's under the front here of this Tesla Model Y. Complete. Everything I showed you guys is right down here. And uh, thank you for watching this video. So, oh, you do have wiper motors. You right there, you got one wiper motor right there. Um, so a lot of mechanical is going on here that you guys can service. So even though Tesla wants to do it themselves, but I'm sure things you could tackle here. And here's the actuator for your front to open and close. And uh, here's your hood sensor, front sensor. That's everything down here, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos on this Tesla. And headlight wise, uh, there's no changing bulbs. I don't know what this is. This might be a bulb. I'm not sure. Let's try to turn this guy, see if it twists off so it doesn't twist up. So it's a built in light and you don't want to touch nothing down there. So there's nothing to turn here. Same thing on the opposite side. So you don't want to mess with these headlights. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. So you can open this cover up, but it's kind of a little complicated work. So these little guys open up. So to service your radiator, you have to pop these clips clips all around and there might be a couple in the front that you might not get to so but i'm sure you should be and there's a door here there's a that opens and closes to let uh, air depending on winter summer and, and that's it so this is a little like actually it opens the flap in the front i'm not sure if you can see it here okay that's a little guy right there see this flap right here this little flap it will open and close. I say super cold day. It would close up and uh, keep the car nice and warm internally. And uh, another video will be coming soon for uh, to check out the underneath of this vehicle and to things to look for coolant leaks and stuff because there's a lot of pipes running around. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video.